In today's video, you'll be receiving these two free editable overlay printables. You can find those linked in the description box down below. In the last video in this series, we discussed how to create the physical overlay for your planner. And that video is also linked in the description. If you want to watch it, get caught up and come back to this video. In today's tutorial, we will be learning how you can use your computer to create and fully customize your own overlay to whatever layout, routine, or schedule you'd like. If you want to just use the pre-made files, you can add or delete text boxes, change the wording, or add graphics. I also have some free graphics on my Pinterest board, including bullet journaling doodles and banners for free, so I'll link that down below. You can also access free graphics and fonts using the hungryjpeg.com. And there is a link to that in the description as well. Step one is to scan in the planner page that you are creating the overlay for. You may want to place a black sheet of paper behind the page so you can better see the outline in the scanned image of the page, but it's not required. Today, we are going to be making an overlay for a classic size happy planner. So you want to go to Microsoft Word and insert the JPEG of the scanned planner page with the image selected. You want to click on picture format and then crop and then you crop off the edges and with the aspect ratio locked size that page to 7 inches by 9.25 inches. If you are having difficulty figuring out if you size it properly, one tip is to create a 2.5 inch by 1.5 inch rectangle and then place it over a box on your scanned image. Each of those vertical full boxes should be this size. Now you can start adding your graphics using the scan planner page as kind of a guide for how large you should make each of those graphics based on the layout that you want to create. One of the links on my Pinterest board includes bullet journal doodles and banners. Remember that I have the link to the Pinterest board in the description down below and you can obviously decorate your pages however you'd like but to help you out, I'm going to share the sizes of the rectangles and boxes that I used. Go to insert pictures, this device, and select your graphic. Right click on the graphic and select wrap text in front of text. And I made my rounded rectangle in this example 0.32 inches by 1.43 inches. Microsoft Word allows you to add rounded rectangles if you want to make your own check boxes. But for this example, I will be adding um, a checkbox graphic. I'm sizing rounded squares that are being used as checkboxes to 0.13 inches by 0.13 inches and I space them 0.13 inches apart. A quick way to figure out spacing is to stack the shapes and then delete every other one. You can also go to picture format, align, align left to make sure your boxes are lined up and then distribute vertically to ensure that there is even spacing between each box. Afterwards, you can group your graphics by selecting them, then right clicking and selecting group. And then you just need to copy and paste. I also want to mention that today we're using Microsoft Word because it is user friendly, but if you don't have Microsoft Word, you can use the same concepts in this video to create an overlay using the free editing software GIMP. If you are interested in learning how to use that software, I do have a video linked in the description with a tutorial for making planner stickers using GIMP, and you can use similar techniques to make this overlay. After that, I added text boxes by going to insert text box, simple text box, then right clicking on the text box and change the outline to no outline and the fill to no fill. The font I use is called a alley garden, but there are tons of free fonts available in the freebie section on the hungryjpeg.com for you to choose from. To get the numbers close together like this, I selected the text, then right clicked and selected paragraph. You can adjust spacing by increasing or decreasing the numerical value by selecting don't add space between paragraphs or by selecting one of the options in the drop down menu. If you are a Microsoft 365 subscriber, you have access to a full library of icons. And so in this example, the icon I added was size 2.29 inches. 
Step five is to delete the scanned planner page image. Make sure that you don't forget to delete the scanned planner page so that it's not gonna get printed out onto your actual overlay. You don't want to have like a happy planner page on your overlay. The final step is to print the file with your printer. You wanna make sure that when you print it out, it's set to print at the actual size. So now that you have your overlay file created, you wanna watch this video next to learn what material to print it onto and how to make it sturdy enough to use in your planner. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you next Saturday. Bye.